Sheila in the building. Yes, sir. Ohio in the building. Where you where where you from? I'm from Dayton. Dayton. Oh man, you like close to Akron. Okay, what born and raised in Ohio or 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 what? Born and raised. Dayton, Ohio? Yes, sir. All right, all right. Well now you know it's not much in Dayton, Canton. <laughs> it's not much in Akron with the exception of uh LeBron James coming out of Akron, which, you know, kind of like kind of like put the city on the map a little bit. I mean, Akron was like was like one of them cities that, you know, when somebody say Akron, you'd be like, Akron? It, it was, it ain't nothing going on in Akron. But ever since LeBron James brought his happy ass out of Akron, it's like Akron is like one step over Cleveland now. Like, yo, I want to go. Yo, you want to come come to Cleveland? No, I want to go to Akron. Like, bro. <laughs> so, um. So, Keela, man, it's uh, nice to have you on the show. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Uh -huh. um, so let's uh, let's let's get to know you a little bit. Um, how you know what you used to do before driving and what made you get into driving? Um, I'm a manufacturing engineer by a degree. So you, wait, I was wait, an wait, engineer. You, wait, wait, you a you a who? You a what? A manufacturing engineer. <laughs> Oh, a manufacturing engineer. Oh, okay, okay, yes. okay. Uh, <laughs> is that like a degree, or you, or you worked in a manufacturing and then they you kind of upgraded to that position? No, I have a I have a bachelor's degree in manufacturing engineering from the Central State University at HBCU. So, um, yeah, I built trucks for the last seven years at Navistar. We made international trucks. Okay. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of like what got me interested in trucking. All right. So I made them, and I never got to drive one, so I wanted to drive one. Okay. So how how long you was how, how long now was that out of Dayton or was that out of out of a different city? It's out of Springfield, Ohio, but it's not far from Dayton. Exactly. Okay. Okay. That's what's up. So you was rocking out with them for how long? Seven years. Seven years, and you just you 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 just felt that it was time to to, to get your CDL and jump into a truck, huh? No, not really. I um, got laid off uh, right before COVID, December of 2019, and then you know COVID hit, so I was now unemployed for almost two years. And then I took another engineering job about a year ago, got laid off again in December. So I'm like, I can't keep playing with my money. And I don't want to go back to school for five years to get another degree to make the, uh, you know, near the same amount of money that I was making as an engineer. So trucking was the fastest and closest to me keeping my same lifestyle. Now, you know, before, oh. before COVID, man, I mean, every, I mean, we, we as Americans, human beings, we took a lot of stuff for granted. Seriously. I mean, COVID really, yeah. COVID came in and really like, like showed us that we was taking a lot of stuff for granted. We took our jobs for granted. We took, we, we took, uh, you know, just simply going outside for granted. And all like that. Yeah. Then COVID, then COVID hits and just completely shut down the world. Like the government just said, "Yo, we 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 shutting down the world." And and now you know we 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 messing up your money and all like that. How you how, how you gonna how how you gonna continue to be you know productive out here if you're not if if everything is shut down? But the bills ain't shut down though. The bills still right. calling. The light bill, gas right. bill, telephone bill. Hell, that person that, that you're renting from still come knocking at your door. I mean, some of them don't even care. Like, yo, bro, I got laid off. I don't know when I'm going back. So, but COVID. Yeah, so what, so, what, so what was still rolling during COVID? What didn't close down? Truck. What? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But even, 
even <laughs> us, even us truck drivers doing during that time. I mean, it, it was like now at that time we was like, oh, we so happy for you. You guys are the heroes, and you guys sacrificing. But we've been doing that way before COVID was even thought of. Y'all wasn't giving us no accolades then. Now that y'all now now that y'all stuck in the house and 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 worrying about when the next bit of paper towels is coming from now now we're 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 the god sins now you know all right all right so you got laid off a couple of times uh you got you you decided to go into trucking uh i noticed that you drive for snyder did was snyder was uh was the one that you went in and got your license through or you went to school no, I went to school to get my license at a local, um, well, since I was unemployed, Ohio had a program that um, our job center would pay for you to do something to get reemployed or to get back into the working um, sector. So they paid for me to get my CDOs um, at a local college, like a, it's called Ohio Business College. But when I was I did my research to try to see, you know, who was the most women friendly, um, being that I was going to be a double minority coming into the truck and field, which I'm used to being a double minority from engineering, but, um, Slaughter had great benefits, great sign on bonus. Um, they just were the ones that after I did all my research, I went with them. All right. So you, so, uh, um, if you have your CDO and you come through them, it's only a three week, um, uh, training class. Of course, you know, Snyder is like the boot camp of uh, of trucking companies when new drivers okay. come in there. I mean, they really they they really like, you yeah, know, pound. Their, a lot. Yeah, they really pound everything in you. But you 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 got with them. And mm -hmm. how how long have you been with them before issues start to arise? Um, the first week on my own. <laughs> So three weeks of training was was cool, but um, I'm on a new account, so I will try to, you know, just kind of say that it's probably still just working the kinks out. But I'm on a new account, and um, I started the end of May, like May 25th. So for ever since I've started, it's been an issue the whole three weeks. The biggest thing is parking. Mm. So and then, so was so with the issue. So with the issues. Was this brand new or you just, or you was, you had issues prior to, to when you came and did your rent in, uh, in, uh, in no, I'm going to say everything is brand new okay. because, um, it's a new account. I'm in a new area that, um, evidently don't have a lot of Snyder, um, drivers or like a Snyder drop yard. So the closest, uh, I don't know, our closest. Depot, I guess you would say, is over an hour away from where I live. Okay. So they let us keep our truck. Okay, okay. So let's let's talk about parking because you know parking is a little is a little issue. I'm I'm pretty much on the fence when it comes to parking because a lot of people say that there isn't uh, enough parking out there for us, which which is true. But I use an app called truckers path and i try to find alternative parking so that's that's okay. just, that's just me but um but for you uh trying to find parking was 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 a big issue and i guess your first issue was at the loves tell us about it okay um when i picked up the truck we had two stops i mean they gave us two places we could park which one was love travel stop and other one was flying gay so um, i'm closer to the love um, the biggest issue was I drive night. So, you know, a lot of truckers who drive day want to get to the love truck stop by nighttime so they can do a 10 hour break. Get off work is absolutely nowhere to park. So, either I have to wait a few hours for a um, driver waking up in the morning to move, or I'm just like SOL, nowhere to park. So, um, the first week, I went through a few issues trying to park one day I tried to bring the truck home and that was a whole nother disaster. They like it's an automatic termination if you park on the city street. So I had to go back to Love, wait till somebody moved the park. So during this, the first, my first week, I noticed a few cars would be in the trucker spot and then 
come back with their truck and then move their car. So I tried it. The first night, everything was okay. The second night, my car got towed. My personal vehicle. Did you in the morning? Did you did you go in there and did you go in there and 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 tell somebody in in the loves you know or talk to the match store manager and say hey you know I'm a truck driver no. I'm trying to oh yeah that no. part okay. so yeah that part so I, my personal vehicle was towed so then I was forced to talk to the manager so I'm like well everybody else doing it you know like what's the problem. He like, um, I'm like, I'm a local driver, you know, and I have a dedicated route. I work third shift. I leave my car in and bring it. So he was kind enough to pay for my car to get out of tow and told me I could park there. And so the next day, I have a couple of vehicles. So the next day I drove a different car. I parked my car and moved the truck. As I'm leaving out of love, the white guy uh, approaches me and stops me and say, hey, wasn't you the little girl in a gray car last night? I'm like, yeah. He like, okay, that's why your car got towed. You're not allowed to park your car and save a spot. So I'm like, well, the manager gave me permission. You know, he like, well, the manager is the one that had your car towed. I'm like, okay, well, he paid to get it out. You know, he gave me permission. I'm going to leave my car there. He like, well, I'm telling you right now, if you leave your car there, it's going to get tore up. He like, I heard the guy. I'm not busting the windows out, la, la, whatever. So I took that as a threat, you know. So but this, I'm already so out this the parking lot. So this ain't this is just a regular old truck driver, a regular that, truck driver that, that yeah. feels that feels some kind of way, which I you know I under, I understand, but they don't you know they don't know the the the, the situation, the situation, right? So and not brother, just that I'm new to trucking, so I don't know I don't know the trucking rules. I didn't know you couldn't park. There's no sign, there's no nothing saying you can't park your car in a truck spot. Like, yeah. I see bobtails there. I see a trailer sitting there. I see cars in the spots, you know, so I'm just going by what I see. Right. You know, some drivers, so, some 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 veteran drivers, some old school drivers going to be like, well, it's it's uh, it's common sense. But again, yeah. but again, you you don't you you don't know the situation. You you just went in there, talked to the manager you know, after it's said and done, they got you back. Right. You explain the situation and you go in there and be like, okay, well, here, you know, can can I do it? They say yes. But you gotta also understand, yeah. you gotta also understand this too, Keela, is that, you know, what one manager say on one shift, another manager would do would do different on a different shift though. Okay, well, it never even made it that far. So after the guy approached me, I'm like, I call my daughter because I'm already starting my shit. So I call my daughter, like, go move my car. I don't want no problem. I have a nice Cadillac. You know, I'm like, go get my, oh, that was another issue. So the guy, I'm like, well, tear it up. It's a, it's a Cadillac. It's fully covered. You know, if I get back in this car, I'm going to get a new Cadillac. So he was beat red when he walked away from my truck. So, but I call my daughter, like, hey, go get my car. I don't want no problem. So she go moves my car. This was on a Thursday night, Friday morning. So I tell my team lead, like, I'm not going back to love. The situation just uncomfortable. I'm sorry, dealing with stuff every day. You know, I'm after this week, I'm this week I'm gonna try to find somewhere to park and I'm not going back down to love. So we like, okay. But it was Friday morning, so the truck is already parked. But Sunday I get a call, I'm not even doing to be in the work until ten. I get a phone call on Sunday, like, you need to get to love, the police are on the way. They cut all you guys brake lines and your airlines. It's three of us that drive out of Dayton that actually park at Love. Two of us are black females and one was a white guy. So I guess since they didn't know which particular truck was mine, they destroyed or well, vandalized every Snyder truck. Hmm. So I'm like, okay, well, not to be funny. I, I'm glad it was Snyder's vehicle and not my personal vehicle like they right. threatened, you know. Right. So I'm like, okay, I'm still not parking here. The company got our, our trailers and stuff fixed. Monday, I'm like, okay, I'll park. My auntie has a business in a local shopping plaza. She's like, our shopping plaza manager or whoever lives in Cali, they don't ever even check on the place. You can park up here. Park the truck there. Guess what happens? It gets towed. <laughs> so now I have to pay like 250 to get the, she called me like the tow truck outside, but he had already started hooking it up. So I had to pay like 250 to get the company's truck to, released. To now, now, mind you, this has been a whole, Yes, it's been a whole week of BS about parking. So I, re I returned their truck in there. Like, I'm done. 
I'm not going to drive an hour away with gas being five dollars a gallon and putting all that wear and tear on my car to go to work and add two hours to a long night. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to do that. Wow. So. I mean, that that's crazy. So park. So in Dayton, uh, for a truck driver, parking is real scarce, though, huh? Very, yes. And I've tried. Everybody, like, you know, I made a few posts, like, help me out, guys. I'm new to trucking. Everywhere I've called, like, to try to find, like, a drop yard or somewhere to park, there's none here. There's none around here. Wow, man. That's, you, you I, know, I, truck, I saw it yesterday. They, they're like, uh, let me check you you know, up to 15 miles, up to 20 miles. Nowhere within like a 30 mile radius has anything for us to park. Wow. Now, see, sometimes that's that's where the problem, you know, I, now I can understand that problem right there because I – I pretty much had the same issue when uh, when I was driving for U.S. Express and I started bringing the truck home. But luckily for me, there's, you know, there's a grocery store. Excuse me. There's a grocery store right down the street from where I live at. And, you know, I went in there, you know, my mom's and him is like real, real cool. And I told him I was his son and I was a truck driver. It's all right that I park over in the cut. He was like, yeah, cool. No problem. You know, but then, you know, when. You know, when you got your own little cubby hole by yourself, there's, there's, all, somebody see you. <laughs> there's always somebody come over there and, and fuck up the program. So I was right. I was over there for a little bit. Then I say the next week I came in, there was like three other trucks there. And, you know, you can't, you know, I parked it and I went inside the store and he was like, yo, Who's are those it's your becoming trucks? a problem? Yeah, he was like, Are those your trucks out there? I was like, No, nah, man, I this one right here. I said, Am I, I, hey, am I still good? I mean, if you want me to start paying you, I don't have a problem with that. So he was like, No, nah, no, nah, you're good. But yeah, these these other trucks that's parking all over the parking lot, like they ain't got no damn sense. Yeah, we're we gonna have to get them up out of there. So, um, Cleveland is. Yeah, Cleveland is kind of hard too. Like, especially living in my area. I live in an urban area, you know. So, you know, truck parking for truck and trailer uh, is is kind of very is very very scarce uh, where I'm at. But luckily, I work for a local company, and I'm able to just drop the trailer and I'm able to bobtail home. Hard. But with that, you know, now you know now that I just picked me up a car from. Carvana, shout out to Carvana. You know, I got me a car, I got me a car from them. I was like, shit, I'll just go ahead and drop, you know, just drop the trailer, truck and trailer in the yard and just drive back and forth to work. That's how I do it, man. That's that's crazy. So let's let's talk about Snyder a little bit, man. I mean, you know, as I said before, they're like the boot camp of of trucking companies, man. They they coming, they coming down on you guys like hard. I mean, they got some some strict uh uh policies with you guys so you're so <clears throat> what you saying what you said was you 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 can't park on a residential street you would get fired how was that possible they said they said that's a state law in ohio no cmvs and trailers can be parked on a um public on the on a city street now i can understand the truck and trailer but if if you yes. if you bobtail and you and you park uh well I didn't have nowhere to park this drop the trailer. Wow. So, yeah, so 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 that's a one so that's a one and done situation with you guys if y'all if if uh if Snyder I'm sorry find, we're breaking up what you say? Is that is that a one and done situation if Snyder finds that you guys parked on a parked on a residential street? Is that like a little? I'm, oh, I'm not sure. I just went on and moved. Once they told me that was, uh, you know, being the automatic termination, I just went on and, you know, went back to the truck stop until somebody moved and parked the truck. Wow, automatic so termination. I'm not sure. I, I haven't been terminated from them. I, I quit. I took them. They stuff back. So um, they called yesterday to see, you know, if I would consider still driving. And I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, find me somewhere to park. Mm -mm. So, no, you, you know, nobody, I, no, nobody, nobody has found me nowhere to park, so I'm not driving. You, you know, Snyder. You know, again, like I said, they're they they got some very very strict policies. I, I talked to a few drivers 
that's no longer working there. And I'm I'm trying to talk to this one young lady uh from TikTok. She got she got terminated because of you know because of the device uh uh the handheld device. It's just unfortunate. A lot of people that comes into this truck and they they want to hurry up and make a YouTube page. They want to make a TikTok page. They want to start doing videos. They want to put the cameras on their heads and and all like that. And I'm over here like, bro, you just concentrate on on getting your driving. experience, right? Concentrate yeah, on. The I'm driving. not. I'm not even. I, I don't even know what to say about that. Like I just told you, my biggest reason to get into trucking was to maintain my lifestyle. I'm not going to say anything bad about Snyder. Snyder started me off at 90K as a new driver, no experience. So um, you want to pay me engineering money to drive a truck? That's what I was going to do. Oh, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. So, all right. So now that you that you took the truck back and, you know, you kind of told them side an hour, is there, are, are you are you still looking now? Has anybody else put you on? Because if not, I may have a company for you. Oh, okay, I'm interested. Um, I'm looking for a local company somewhere that I'm not going to have to have an issue with parking. So currently, right now, um, Bait and Freight is near me. Um, U.S. Express is near me. They have a terminal that's like not 15 minutes away from the house. Um, Warner is about 30 minutes out. That was my second go-to, which I before I chose Snyder, I would have went with Warner. So um, I don't know if. I'm going to get my team leading them to the end of business day today. If they don't find me no work to park by the end of the day, then I'll terminate myself with them. All with right. Snyder. How how far are you away from uh, Wooster, Ohio? I'm very far. That's worse than Columbus. Yeah. Wooster's near Akron, so I'm like probably two hours from Wooster. Damn it, man. But you know what, though? <laughs> but you know what, though? You're, you, you, you're able to... You you you're able to take the truck home though with with Wooster, and that's uh, the same issue I'm having with uh with Snyder. I'm an hour away from my yard with Snyder, and I'm able to take the truck home. There's nowhere to park the truck. All right, because their their closest their closest terminal is Akron. Actually, their uh they they the the terminal the terminal is out of uh, is out of Wooster, Ohio. That's that's where their headquarters is at. And then they yeah, got, that's they got still probably like not even fifteen minutes from Akron. Yeah, they got they got two, they got they got two places for us to, uh, you know, park the uh, tractor and trailer. Usually, I I just like I said before, I got my car. I I just parked the tractor. I mean, parked the trailer in Wooster, and I was able to I was able to bobtail home. Luckily for me, the house next door to me was tore down, uh, say about three four years ago. And it just made the, you know, made the, made, made it into a field. And I, and I would just park right there. But, uh, but yeah, I, I can understand that it is hard, especially for us that's living in the urban neighborhoods, you know, to, to, to find ad- safe, adequate parking, you know? So, but, uh, yeah, man, yeah. that's, that's, uh, that's crazy. I mean, that's, that that pretty much puts you over the edge, like yo, I'm I'm quitting, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, and one and one week, um, I'm sure the issues that I was having costed the company way more than what we made off the truck because three trucks got vandalized like on a Sunday. So all our airlines, all our brake lines, Love paid 150 to get my personal vehicle out of, so I paid 250 to get the truck out off the. Uh, out the tow truck so shit. I know we were out of some, a couple bands, and I haven't made a couple thousand with them in two weeks. So, <laughs> oh well. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. All right. So being new, how, how is this? Like six months in, close to a year in? No, not even a month. Well, this would be my second month, and I did three weeks training um, at Snyder Boot Camp, as you call it. <laughs> And then um, I've been on the road on my own for three weeks, so I'm I got six weeks in in trucking. You mentioned you you mentioned your daughter. How how old is your daughter? I have grown kids. My oldest is twenty eight, uh, twenty four, and twenty two. 
God damn, you don't even look that old. What the hell? Well, thank you. What, 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 what are we doing over there? Man, listen, you don't even look that old. I, I, I you don't you, like don't crack. I, I, I thought you was at least in your 20s, man. For real, for real. Oh, wow, thank you. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. What would your What did your kids say? Um, what 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 did your family say when you When you told them that you was going to get into trucking? Nobody wants me to drive the truck. They're happy that it's not working out. <laughs> they like, Mom, just go back to the office, find you another engineering job. And I mean, like, my that was another reason I chose trucking. Engineering, being a double minority, I deal with a lot of stuff. So I got thick skin. I deal with a lot of stuff in the um, corporate world, being, you know, the only black female engineer most of the time. So I'm like, I ain't got no bosses. It's just me and a truck. You know, I was like, it's these people good to the doc by my, you know, point in time. I'm cool. It's just me and my truck. That's, I was looking for the independence of, you know, not being you know, time or radar all day. So, the, the little three, the, the driving, I don't mind. I really do like driving. And that's another reason I'm pointing into it. I drive all the time. That's so. what's up. That's what's up. So, Keita, do you feel that uh, all that situation with the with the parking and everything, do you think that was probably the worst, uh, worst trucking experience that you had with trucking so far? It's, it's my only trucking experience that I'm having in years. It's, it's just been a, um, like, um, it, it's, it's actually awakened something in me. Like, maybe I need to just go buy some land and, you know, make it a, a, a pay lot, a secure pay lot for trucks or something. You know, I, it, it's a need there. I see trucks parked all along the highway ramp. I see trucks parked even at the, Rest areas. Once the rest area get full, trucks can't even get in the entrance area because trucks is all over. So um, I see it's a need. It's definitely a need, and it's an issue here with truck parking. You know what? I I agree with you, I, and I think there's a need for drivers that's uh, that stay in the urban areas. I mean, you know, probably drivers uh, that stay in the urban areas. Maybe some drivers that stay in some suburbs, but you know, some. You know, some drivers that stay in suburbs, you know, they probably have opportunities. They probably might hit up a hit up a plaza that they can park behind the plaza or something like that. That's what I have seen as of late. But as as far as drivers in the urban area, yeah, I I agree with you wholeheartedly on on truck parking, though, especially especially truck parking for your home time. You know, you you don't want to go yeah. you don't want to go home and have and and have that stress of somebody uh, either mess- getting told yeah. Or, yeah. or yeah and i saw i feel like it needs to be some secure parking lot and um i don't know it's just been uh, you know awaken me to a need it's there all right so if all i can right. do something about it to make it a little easier for truckers that's what i'm looking into now at this point all right all right kita from she trucking shout out to the she trucking trucking group um I you um how long you been in the she trucking trucking group and and what are the what are some of the takeaways that you taken that that you taken from that group? Um, it's been very informative. When I first uh, looked into going into trucking and you know saying that it was a, you know definitely a minority with the black females, well females in general, I went to that group to you know just see about everybody else's experiences to. Watch, you know, how people navigated going from other industries. Like um, during COVID, I saw a lot of nurses who, you know, were scared. I'm not going to say scared, but had was tired of working in the medical industry because, you know, they just were getting burnt out. A lot of nurses, trans, you know, transitioned over to trucking. And we made good money, you know. Like I said, I was an engineer, so to transition over to trucking, it was just something new. Like, I just wanted to try it. And like I said, I built trucks for seven years and was never allowed to touch it other than working on it. <laughs> well, you know, since you so, built since you built trucks for seven years, would uh, why why not get into diesel mechanic? I mean, that will that pays well. Yeah, but it's not three weeks of training. Oh, <laughs> no, it isn't. I, 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 need, I, I needed something that was going to give me the same amount of money quickly. 
That's what's up. That's what's up. I don't, I'm, I'm tired. I don't. I mean, I'm. You, you, I, I can't tell you. Well, I don't mind telling you my age. I'm 47, so I'm not about to go back to school for two years, five years, none of that. I did my school and I have two degrees. I'm not about to go back to school. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. Keita, man, thank you very much for coming on and uh, chopping it up with me. I really do appreciate your time and everything. Uh, hopefully, everything uh, hopefully everything should work out. I mean, there is a lot of local uh, trucking companies in Ohio around the Dayton, Canton, uh, Akron area. Uh, definitely look into that because, you know, like I said before, you know, I, I, I got an comp- a awesome company called Wooster motorways uh you can you can check them out uh there's uh there's a couple of companies in ohio and with ohio is it's a lot easier to just do regional because what they do they'll send you out you know over over a course course of five you know five days and then they bring you back home for the weekend so that should you know work something out with you you won't be out on over the road you won't have to worry about you know, park, well, probably parking, you know, at the truck stop or whatever, whatever, but, you know, depending on which route that you want to go, you know, so, uh, definitely, uh, you are a citizen now. So thank you very much. Uh, uh, yeah. So again, you know, again, shout out to you and, uh, much success. Thank you. All right, guys, you know, the damn it. All right, guys, you know the best conversation starts over here on the Lockout Men podcast show. If you guys want to jump in, y'all know what to do. Hit that number, 216-600-2090. That's what y'all do. If y'all want to come in and chop it up, just like my girl right here, Keita. And shout out to the She Trucking Trucking Group, the largest female trucking group on there. There's a lot of very opinions on there, so... Get ready <laughs> for yeah, a lot. Get ready. Yeah, get ready for a, 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 a lot of different uh, opinions and everything. Uh, and on that note, everybody, that's about it. So we'll get back with you with another one. Peace. There's something in the air tonight. Got a feeling coming over me. I swear that this is that place to be in the water. In the, the water, hey.